are you guys gonna just stand outside here or are you guys gonna let me give you the grand tour of my finished home? First things first, you gotta take off your shoes when you come into a house in Finland. Big no-no to wear shoes indoors. All right, welcome to the Hapoya residence. Let me give you a little bit of a tour of the place and then I'll show you some of the cool and unique features in a Finnish home. Hope you like that little tour of our house. It's small but cozy. And with all the interior decorating, I can't take the credit all because my boss wife, Vera, has done it all. Whenever she asks me what do I think about something, I always say, babe, I trust you. You have a good eye for this because I'm totally clueless when it comes to all this. Anyways, now we're gonna do a little tour of our home and just show you some cool, unique features that maybe differentiate from North American homes where I'm used to growing up in Canada and what's like to live here in Finland and things that I love about the Finnish home. Let's start the tour. You might've been wondering earlier why I said it's an absolute must to take off your shoes in a Finnish home. And the reason why is, is that in Finland, we have laminate or wood floors. And if you're wearing your wet shoes in the house, it doesn't do good for the floor, which is quite interesting as well because in Canada or North America, you have a lot of homes with full carpets, but here we love to have wood floors, laminate floors. I guess it's kind of like nice Scandinavian modern nature feel. Check out my floors. We got these gray laminate flooring. I like the look of it, but to be honest, I like the practicality of it because if there's a little bit of crumbs in the ground, you don't notice it. But if it was white or something else, you'd notice it right away. Don't tell my wife that. Okay, the second feature, a really ingenious thing that all Finnish homes have. In our kitchen, we have something called a drying rack. Basically, when you do the dishes, you know, say you have the smoothie or different things that just don't fit into the dishwasher, you can just put it in here and let the water drip into the sink rather than having some huge drying rack on your kitchen space. That way you save a lot of countertop space and as well you don't get the mess of the water dripping in. Now, for Vera and I, we were living in Australia and they didn't have a drying rack like this and we didn't have a washing machine, which meant like we had all these wet dishes all the time all over the countertop. So when I came back to Finland two years ago, I was like, dang, I really appreciate this ingenious invention. I have no clue who created it or who invented it, but whoever you are, Thank you. We really appreciate having this in our home. And also, it just nicely hides into the cupboard so you can't see anything right now when it's like this. It's just built in into the closet. Pretty cool, eh? Drying racks here in Finland. If there's one thing about Finnish people, Finnish people are very practical. They're always trying to think of how to make things as practical and logical as possible. All right, now we're gonna head into our shower and laundry room. I'm gonna show you something that's kind of interesting in Finland that most people in North America would have, but we don't have in Finland. If you look at this, this is our laundry room. There's only one machine. We only have washing machines. We don't use dryers, but what we do use is a drying rack. I'll show you how it works. Let me set it up for you and I'll show you how we dry all our clothes. So you take this drying rack, you set it up, when you don't use it, you just stick it in the closet, but when you're using it, you have this clothesline for all your clothes, put them all there, make them dry. Now, it does take a little bit of extra time to do all this, but the reason why we do this is, well, A, it saves a lot of space in our laundry room not having to have a drying room, as well, it saves us a lot of electricity, and third, it makes your clothes last a lot longer when you don't just throw it from the washing machine into the dryer, and instead you dry them and air dry them. Again, very logical solutions here in Finland. Finnish people are very logical, very energy saving, and they wanna do everything the best they can. So this is the drying rack. I'm gonna throw this back into the closet because yeah, we don't need it right now. All right, now it's time to show the one thing that I love the most in our home, and that is the sauna. 
I did do just a video, I think a week or two ago about how I love sauna swimming, but little did you know, it's not just when you're at the cottage, actually every single Finnish home and apartment usually would have a sauna. Come check this out. So we have the shower here, the sauna. So in our own home, we have the sauna, the little crank up the ISO for you guys. Ooh, 20,000 ISO. There's the rocks there where we throw the water. But I love this guy. The sauna is the best. The sauna is perfect in Finland because, you know, after a long day outside, you're super cold or maybe you go for an evening run and you just want to warm up. Perfect place in the evening with your wife. Just sit in the sauna, enjoy, relax, talk, have some good quality time. It's probably the one place where you can't bring your phone, meaning you just have good old quality time and conversation. But yeah, saunas. It's a great invention. Every single home in the world, maybe not a warm country, but at least in cold countries, all cold countries should have a sauna. Super nice, super relaxing, super enjoyable. This room used to be my office. Uh, a few months ago, I think last summer, I was still filming in my house in this office room. If you guys remember, these shots were from this room. And as much as I loved the early beginnings of filming this YouTube channel in my house, I'm so glad that I have an office and now we actually turned this room into my wife's office and well, let's just say that she did a lot better job with it than I did. Also, let me show you something that I'm very proud of. I'm not very good with tools or doing these handyman things, but my wife hated having the TV in the living room, so we had this shelf system, but something that you don't know is that this shelf Actually, in my videos, used to have five shelves, but I actually ended up cutting the shelf off right here and just using some black marker so that the TV fits in there just seamlessly and away from sight. Yep, used to film here all the time in this corner or face on right here. Brings a lot of nostalgic memories. Everyone's got to start from somewhere. As you can see, Finnish homes are very minimalistic. We love it, just very modern, clean look, very natural, a lot of wood, a lot of brown tones and whites. And it's important. It's important because we really wanna enjoy our home because we spend a lot of time inside the home when it's winter time. So having a nice home is really enjoyable. But before I end the tour, I still wanna take you outside and show you a few things that in my opinion are really cool here in Finland. That's something that might be really interesting for you guys from North America or from different cultures in the world. So I'm gonna put my jacket back on and we're gonna go outside and check a few things out before we end the tour of the Hapoya residence. Don't worry, I'm not gonna forget you guys. Keys, check. Got the keys. One time I was filming a video, left the house, and I locked myself out of the house, so I'm always traumatized nowadays. Gotta have always keys when you're filming. Okay, something that's really interesting in Finland is that we have these things called taloyhtiöt. Basically, all these eight apartments here in our little uh, center, we are all part of the one group, and basically we share a lot of things. So even now I'm gonna take you, we have this little storage and instead of everyone owning, for example, a lawnmower or tools to do gardening or something, or for example, there's a water pressure in here that I always wash the cars with, um, we all share it. So instead of having eight lawnmowers, I don't have another hand to make the other three, but instead of having eight lawnmowers, we just have one. And if we want to buy gas, one person's been designated to go buy the gas for a lawnmower or if something breaks or we need more tools, they take out of a fund that we all pool into and we share that money. But check it out. So for example here, this is kind of like a storage unit thing, but lawnmower here, water pressure thing, whatever it's called in the English, I don't remember. Anyways, to hose off the car, you know, if we have gardening tools here. Everything is just shared, which is really cool and really not normal in the individualist society that we live in nowadays that people would share, but it's worked well. I don't have to buy my own lawnmower, I don't have to buy my own garden tools, rather. We just share it all, which is really cool. I really enjoy that about Finland that we still have kind of this community sense when it comes to your neighborhood. All right, let's close this door and I'll let all the heat out. The last thing that I think is really cool about our house or something that I really love is that we have these 
massive garage things. It's not a garage that you just drive into, but you at least have a roof. The reason why this is so important is that when you live in a cold country and it's snowing almost every day or every other day, you don't wanna have to remove the snow off your car. So as you can see, no snow right now. And the second thing is, I, I actually don't know why this happens. This is a little bit of a mystery, but when you have your car underneath one of these little roof carport things, your windshield never freezes. And if you're in a cold country or if you live in a cold country or have ever been to a cold country, you know how much of a pain in the butt it is to, in the morning when you wake up at seven in the morning, go scrape off your car windows, it's minus 10 out. You don't wanna do that. So all I do is just jump in my car. I don't have to wipe the snow off my car. I don't have to scrape my windshield. I'm ready to go. And that's something that's really practical and helpful and I didn't even realize until this winter, I realized, dang, it's good to not have to do any snow or ice work on my car. All right, guys, that's the end of my grand tour of the Hapoya residence. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes of my home and just seeing what the Finnish culture is like. And hopefully this helps you guys get to know me a little bit better. All right, thank you for being a part of this video. If you're not subscribed yet to the channel, make sure you click here. And as well, if you wanna see last week's video, click here. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and have a great week.